Hello everybody, and this is your video game news for the day. All things Nintendo today. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Golden Dragon Games. I'm your host, Rocky2815. But please just call me Rocky, or <laughs> Link, for a matter of speaking. Today I have got for you some Nintendo news. So... Let's roll with the Nintendo news. First of all, we have got Kirby and the Rainbow Curse coming out February 2015. Good! I've just recently got into the Kirby games. Actually, I purchased myself Kirby Triple Deluxe. I'm stuck on the very last boss. <laughs> so sad, but never mind. Right, on to the next bit of news, and uh, for the rest of these pieces of news, I shall have images rolling with probably a voice over me. Okay? Okay, so that's all the video gaming news I have got for you today. Yeah, out there, you people watching this video. So, anyway, remember to like, favourite, share, and also subscribe for more awesome videos, just like this one. So, remember, stay golden, have a happy rest of your weekend, and I shall see you in the next video. Okay, for our second piece of news, Duck Hunt Dog is coming to the Wii U Virtual Console. So, now, a thing about the Duck Hunt Dog coming to the Wii U Virtual Console, there is a little more information than it's just coming. Uh, no set release date, as far as I know. Uh... On the original NES, interestingly enough, instead of using the NES control, uh, you used sort of like a gun, and you'll be able to use a Wii remote with your Wii U to act as the gun. So, you know, that's all good. Time for the next piece of news. Okay, on to the next piece of news. The Mario 8. DLC pack 1 with a link and a couple of items will be available from November 13th for $8. Seriously, that's what it says, dollars. Okay, on to the next piece. Okay, for the next piece of news, we have got Wave 2 of the Amiibos, available from December 2014. So, in this wave of Amiibos, we have got Digicon, Zelda, Luigi, Captain Falcon, Pit, and Little Mac. But also, I've seen images surface of Fox as an Amiibo, so he will probably be coming Wave 3. Or this might not be the whole of Wave 2 revealed, I don't know. But anyway... On to the next piece of news of video games. And by the way, all of this episode will be dedicated to Nintendo. Right, we've got another piece of news as well for you. Because there's large amounts of news today. But anyway, the reason why there is a picture of Wolf on your screen is because Wolf will... Hang on. This isn't wolf, is it? That it's a different wolf. Well, never mind. We'll just go with the image. Pretend he's wolf from whichever the, from the Smash Bros. game. Anyway, wolf will be a DLC character. No idea when he will be available, but that piece of information was leaked couple of days back, possibly a week back, I'm pretty sure, but I'm just trying to catch up on the news. But also, while we're at it, and got this lovely picture up on the screen, for you people in Europe and the UK, it, 
If you did not already know, of course, the release date which for Super Smash Bros. 4, which was December the 5th, has been moved forward, or back, whichever you prefer to say, to November 28th, same day as Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, so I hope p people have pre-ordered it, and also I believe it's not too late to pre-order it. No, it isn't actually. Right, this is one of the things that I've been most hyped and excited about. Mewtwo is going to be DLC in Super Smash Bros. Brawl for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, as you can see here on screen, is the pictures of him and what he looks like in with the models in each one of the game. No idea what his moves are, have no idea what his final smash is, all I know is that he will be available for free DLC download starting from spring of 2015. I just had to quickly check that. Okay, on to the final piece of news, I do believe. Okay, my mistake, not final piece of news, second to last piece of news. Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker game which I'm sure has been anticipated by many Mario fans, will be available on December 5th, but also, as well as being able to play as the classic Toad, you'll be able to also play as Toadette. I do not have any footage, but I have seen another YouTube video showing off what the game was like, and it had the person playing as Toadette. So, now on to our final, well, basically, that's right, people, for the people who haven't heard, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask is coming to the 3DS, as you can see on screen right now, this is the title thing that was in the Nintendo Direct, I'm so, so, so excited, I am really, really, really excited, and I have got other pictures for you, which I'm just going to quickly go and check if I've actually got Okay, I'm back everybody, and I managed to find the images. So, here's the first thing that will come in, the special edition of the Majora's Mask. So, you know how we've had the, um, you know, Hyrule Warriors limited edition with Link Scarf, and I think it comes with a post as well, I've actually got it somewhere. Okay, so, the first thing that's included is a pin box. Now, I have no idea what's inside of it, but some sort of pin will be inside of it, most likely. So, on to the next photo. We will be getting a steel book. Now, look at this. Look at the beautiful colours. It pops out at you. Like, man. Also, if you pre-ordered game, I believe. Yeah, it's game you get special steel book like this, but of course, for Omega Ruby, it's Primal Groudon, Alpha Sapphire is Primal Kyogre, plus you get the little figurines. But anyway, <laughs> let's keep on track with Zelda. Also, we get this lovely, as it says in the title, double-sided poster. Now, it doesn't... Where I got this image from, it doesn't actually show the other side, but my, by double-sided, it might mean like, you know, the shadow down there of Skull Kid actually wearing Majora's Mask and then up there is actually Skull Kid looking at Majora's Mask, so sort of looking into the future. Kid looking at Majora's Mask, so sort of looking into the future, but at the bottom, you know. But anyway, and then this is all the stuff together the double sided poster, the pin box, the steel book, and also the actual game. Now look at that cover, and yes, it is rated 12! Actually, which I didn't think it personally would be, but whoa, that moon looks even more menacing than the last time I saw it. What is the Happy Mask Salesman looking at? Because, of course, uh, ah oh yes, here, hopefully you can see my cursor, 
in view with the arrow. If you look very closely at the Happy Mars salesman, it looks like he is actually wearing a mask. Either that, or he is reading something, but it looks like he's wearing some sort of purple mask. Obviously not Majora's mask, but some sort of mask. Very weird. But we got the final image, which is a sleek box, which is everything, what everything will obviously come in, not sure of the size or anything, so it's got the age rating on, what it says what it includes, it says The Ledger of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D Special Edition, so yeah, that is news I've been really, really wanting to reveal for the people who didn't see the Nintendo Direct, who have somehow missed it on the internet. So, anyway, uh, oh yes, actually, I forgot one more thing about this game, it comes out in the spring, so the same time around as the Mewtwo DLC for Super Smash Bros. Brawl 4. <coughs> but that's really all the news, so I'll just... So, on to the next piece of news.